Welcome back. Check this out. She is the first African-American female swimmer to make the U.S. Olympic team. The first African-American to break a world record in swimming. She is an Olympic silver medalist. We are talking about Maritza McClendon, and she is here in Indianapolis taking part in a swim clinic for local kids along with two other Olympians. And it's not too late for your kids to sign up. Good morning. Good to Hi. see you. I've been doing TV news for almost, I don't know, more than 20 some years. And I don't think I've ever done a story where an Olympian is gonna get in the water with our local kids to help teach them how to swim. Absolutely, how cool is that? That is the coolest. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. I mean, we're, we're talking about kids that either have never been in the water yeah. or wanting to learn a little bit more. We know it's so important for kids to learn how to swim, especially we're here in the summer, it's hot. Why not go to the pool? Yeah. But we wanna make sure everybody's safe in and around the water. Yeah, tell me a little bit. I mean, obviously that's why it's important to you, but but why was it something that you said, you know what, this is, out of all the things that you could do, this is what I want to do. Yeah, you know, when I, you had mentioned it earlier, you know, when I made the Olympic team, I was the first African-American mm. female to make the U.S. Olympic swim team, and 70% of African-American children don't know how to swim. Wow. So, of course, why not have a platform where I have an opportunity to mm. make a difference within my community? Yeah. Swim 1922 is a partnership with Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated and USA Swimming. And it's the perfect it's, it's the perfect fit, right? We're going into the communities, teaching the, the importance about water safety, getting a bunch of kids in the water, adults as well, mm -hmm. and just saying, let's be safe. Let's learn about how to get from one end of the pool to the yeah. other safely and, and save your life. It's the only sport that's a life-saving skill. Mm, good point. It's yeah. free, and it's at the natatorium, which in and of itself, if somebody hasn't been, to be able to go there and to swim and to learn from an Olympian, it's I mean, a, it's, it's like... Yeah, it's get a better? beautiful venue, absolutely beautiful venue. I swam at Olympic trials there. Um, I competed at NCAAs, broke my first American record there. So that was, it's a pretty, pretty phenomenal pool. So you should come check us out. Yeah, I want to see some of these. Well, 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 of course, I say that when the director just took the um, <laughs> video, but we are seeing you with your medals on there. Yeah. Um, what did you, remind me what you swam. So I swam the four and a free relay in the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens, Greece. So I brought my medals with me. Um, there, this is my actual Olympic silver medal, and mm. then I brought some of my world championship medals. So the kids will get a chance to come out, put these on, take some pictures, I'll sign some autographs, um, and it'll be a great experience. That's funny, because I'm even, as we're zooming in here, I was like, um, am I allowed to touch it? Can I hold it? She's like, yeah, hello, that's what we do. <laughs> um, and I, I think, too, that like you said, this message um, is really important about learning, but also when somebody can see the kind of work ethic, what it took yeah. for you, and you to be able to share and to connect with our youth on, you know, you can dream to do what I did, and I know that's important to you also. Yeah, absolutely. Representation matters, especially when you have kids that, you know, are looking to figure out what else, what else do they want to do, right? Yeah. And when you have somebody that looks like you, you kind of get inspired to do something different, and water tends to be something different yeah. for our community. So. Some, sometimes when I'm doing an interview, I forget if we've already talked about, I'm like just staring at you and thinking <laughs> about you being an Olympian. <laughs> Did we talk about when this is and how do people sign up yet? It's actually tomorrow. <laughs> so it's tomorrow. It's going to be at the IUPUI yeah. Natatorium. If you want to sign up, go ahead and email Sigma Ga uh, Sorry, swim1922 at sgrow1922.org. And we'll put that at fox59.com yes. too to make it super easy for everybody. 30 seconds. You have the final word, young lady. Anything else that I didn't ask you that you want people to know? I, you know, Swim 1922, we're here celebrating yeah. our, 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 our centennial celebration, yeah. 100 years of wow. greater service, wow. greater progress. Um, so you'll see us painting the city blue okay. and gold. We said Super other excited. Olympians are with you, too. Yes, yeah, so there'll be yeah. a couple of us over wow. here, Cullen Jones, Caitlin Sandineau, Aaliyah Atkinson. So lots of Olympians. Not, and Natalie Hines, of course, 2021 U.S. Olympian who, <sighs> who brought home a medal. Golly. So I think about you and like the training and what it took yeah. to be where you are you know, are and were. So congratulations Thank to you. Thank you. What I a, appreciate it. Super cool. 845. Again, for more information, fox59.com slash links. We'll hook you up there.